Ryan Powell is coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. Crockett's cousin surprises him with a visit and his debt in the episode Jack of All Trades. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired from February 19th to March 4th, 1989, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on February 24th, United Airlines Flight 811 en route to Sydney, Australia made an emergency landing back in Honolulu, Hawaii after a large hole ripped open in and around the cargo door. Nine passengers died after being sucked out of the plane and the plane landed back in Hawaii without further damage. Then on March 4th, the tanker Exxon Houston ran aground off the Hawaiian coast near the island of Oahu, spilling 600 barrels of oil and 2,200 barrels of fuel into the ocean. In sports, on February 26th, the Dallas Cowboys fired head coach Tom Landry after 29 years of leading the team. The Cowboys owner was in final preparation of selling the team to Jerry Jones and in one of his final acts released the Hall of Fame coach. Jones would hire Jimmy Johnson, which I guess kind of worked out all right. In music, during this time, Straight Up by Paula Abdul would hold the number one spot the whole time so we go to the archives. Just behind Paula and the next number one by Debbie Gibson is a hip-hop classic from the album Loked After Dark is Wild Thing by Tone Loke. The song would peak at number two, plus had an amazing music video that parodied the famous Addicted to Love video from a few years prior. The song has been used countless times in movies, everything from Uncle Buck to the Angry Birds movie. In movies, The Fly 2's short run on the top of the box office comes to an end and is replaced by a Tom Hanks classic. Directed by Joe Dante and starring Hanks, Bruce Dern and Carrie Fisher is The Burbs. The comedy thriller would rule the box office for two weeks and is another reminder of how movies in the 80s allowed us to have fun every once in a while. The eccentric neighbors in suburbia still has a timeless effect as all of us know these people from our own neighborhood. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show at GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.